really quickly, give us your idea of what uh, your idea of hope. Really, and I always end with that because it's kind of hokey. But uh, you got to keep it short so I don't get mauled by Emmanuel on DBRK. Thank you. Your idea of hope. Don't give me the look. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, we, we say, yeah, inspire people to be more hopeful. I mean, like in what he was saying before, like there is, don't live in scarcity, in this scarcity mentality, right? Like there is an abundance out there and there's a lot to be had and we can stay hopeful because of that. So throughout my career, I've had the opportunity to work for life-saving nonprofits, and this nonprofit is life-changing. And to be honest, that gives me hope, gives our students hope and the promise of what they can achieve in the future. And so we like to think we make strong children stronger, and so that gives me hope. Yeah, I'd like to um, echo that abundance mindset. I think that there's um, a lot more to go around than we perceive right now. Never lose sight of the fact that hope exists in small gestures. I have always found um, it exciting and rewarding and hopeful when I see people um, and myself give more than you think you can. Um, I have hope in the future. I know we'll all come out of this current situation stronger and, and more connected. I truly believe that there is joy and light even in the darkest moments. We can get through all, get through this, and I just hope that we can just uh, just do better for ourselves and for the people that we are you know, supporting in the community. Mike, I think hope can be seen looking around this table, knowing the passion that these people here have and the soldiers that they have fighting along with them, lets us know that we live in a wonderful community. One of Mike, it's Mike. I can't top that. We <laughs> gotta leave after that one. Mike King, the next shore. I'd like to thank you guys for coming. Tune in. This will be airing uh, on ESPN Richmond on the 23rd, 24th. Stay tuned for details. Everyone, thanks for coming.